Hey guys, recently I had a question about gastric bypass. Someone was wondering if they should do it. And I just wanted to explain what the most common gastric bypass is and some of the complications because some of the benefits that people hear about gastric bypass is that your diabetes clears up, you lose weight, etc. But the question is, why can't you do this without having to do the surgery? That's the big question. I think you can, but for those people that already had the surgery, we're going to come up with some solutions to maybe some complications, okay? But I at least want to explain what it is. So the most common uh, type of gastric bypass is something called Ruin and Y gastric bypass, where basically they're going to take the stomach, put it in two sections, and they're going to reroute the plumbing or the, uh, the, the small intestine. So here's the stomach right here, here's the small intestine, and we have a lot of small intestine, uh, but what they're going to do is they're going to um, basically take the top part of the stomach and cut it out, okay? And then they'll sew it up on the top and then sew this on the bottom. They're going to leave this there, okay? And then they're going to go about 18 inches of your intestine and then you're going to cut it off and you're going to reroute that up into the stomach. So we're bypassing everything. And then they're going to actually take this 18 inch and connect it somewhere lower on the intestine. So now what we're dealing with is a much, much smaller stomach, okay? The surface area is much smaller. And also, we're dealing with a um, less and small intestine. So based on that, we want to look at the effects that can happen. Well, the purpose of the stomach is to help you digest protein and kill pathogens and absorb minerals. We're going to have a problem digesting protein. So if you've already had this procedure, you may want to start uh, adding in a couple things. Like one is uh, apple cider vinegar uh, or betaine hydrochloride to increase the acidity so you can actually digest more protein because if you have a small stomach like that, you're just not gonna have the ability to digest protein and break it down into small particles. So we'll have difficulty releasing the powerful protein enzymes because we don't have the acid there. Um, so that's one thing. So in some people, what they do is they uh, take a, an amino acid supplement that helps them. The next thing is pathogens. So you're just not gonna have the capacity to kill off pathogens. So it would be very unwise for you to consume like sushi or raw fish or any raw meats because if there's any parasites or microbes in them, you're not going to kill it off. So you're definitely going to have to just make sure that <laughs> eat really, really clean or um, make sure you cook your food very well so there's no uh, microbes in your foods. So you're going to have to enhance your diet with uh, minerals and trace minerals. So some of the side effects would be um, nutritional deficiencies. Uh, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E. Why the fat soluble vitamins? Because it takes a really strong acidic stomach to trigger to release the uh, bile from the gallbladder. Um, so if you're not releasing that, we're going to have a bile deficiency eventually, and you're not going to be able to pull in the vitamin A, vitamin D. These are fat soluble vitamins that are really important for vision, bone, immune system. So basically, you're just going to have malabsorption. You're just going to, not going to be able to absorb the nutrients from the food that you're eating to the extent that you did before. Number three, increased risk of leakage. Okay. Number four, scar tissue. That could be a problem with pain and things like that. But if you have scar tissue, there's a great remedy. It's called serapeptase. Uh, I have a video on it. Look it up. But serapeptase is a very powerful um, enzyme to help you uh, break down scar tissue in unwanted proteins in your body. And then we have the risk of dying. There is a risk of dying. Uh, it's 0.5%, so it's a half of a percent, but it's still there, okay? It could be bleeding internally, who knows? And number six, you have something called the dumping syndrome, okay? That's when you're actually just having diarrhea all the time. And this has to do with too much bile. So you wouldn't want to take bile salts, okay? Unless you had constipation. So if you do have um, diarrhea, there are certain medications you can take to slow down your body's ability uh, to release bile. But bile is a lubricant, so we don't want to add more bile to the situation. So in summary, um, I would highly recommend you do healthy keto and intermittent fasting before you attempt this. If you already have a gastric bypass, then you're going to have to cope as best as you can. Add apple cider vinegar, maybe betaine hydrochloride. Be careful about consuming anything uh, like raw meats and things that could have microbes in them. Uh, take minerals, uh, B vitamins, uh, fat-soluble vitamins, 
and you might need some bile salts if you feel constipated, but not if you have diarrhea. All right, thanks for watching. Hey guys, a lot of you already have my book, some of you don't, but this new edition called the New Body Type Guide is an upgrade from my last edition called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. It has 156 images, 378 pages, full glossary. I talk about keto, intermittent fasting, the body types in detail. I have a new stress chapter. I'm gonna show you exactly what to eat and a comprehensive FAQ. I put a link down below, check it out.